Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So I once wrote a script, Armbian Gaming, that installs Box86, Box64 and Wine. So that was for Armbian Hearsuit, now I've adapted it to install that on Armbian Jammy. So it took me a while, but I finally got to it. So thank you to Petit Zep for all his help, because without him I couldn't do this. So now on Armbian, Box64 is by default installed on every desktop image. So we don't need to install that anymore. But for Wine we do need Box86. And that is a bit harder to install than Box64, because it needs ARMHF architecture and a lot of ARMHF packages that create a hell of dependencies. So with Armbian Gaming it is now very simple to install Box86 and also Wine. Now you can install Wine64, so Wine64 bits. This is for newer games or for newer programs. And you can also install Wine x86, that is for older games and older programs. So I am using the Odroid N2 Plus here, but this should work on all SBCs that have GPU drivers. So it should work on the RK3399 and all others with GPU drivers, with the Panfrost GPU driver. So first off, when I boot for the first time, I've got a little problem when I do sudo apt updates. So to fix that we need to remove this and then we can do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Always do that before you run the script. So after the upgrades I've installed some tools and I also set up my desktop the way I like it. So I also rebooted because there is a small problem with reading my USB sticks. But after we reboot that is fixed. So now first off I will download Xonotic, because with that game I can show you how Box64 works. So Xonotic can be run in 64 bit for Linux, but x86 64 bit, so not ARM64. So for that we can use Box64 to run this. So after downloading it and extracting it, I go to the folder. And I open it with this file, so box64, xonotic, linux64, helix. And as you see, this works. So that is a great thing. Now all I want is wine. So for that I am going to use Armbian Gaming. So we go to the Armbian Gaming GitHub. So here we download it all. So we download the zip and we extract the zip file. And then we browse with our terminal to the folder where it is extracted. And we do slash bin slash bash dot slash armbiengaming.sh and now we choose our distro so for us it is jammy because i'm using jammy and now the first thing i will do is here install this this is something that is missing for box 64 after i've installed that i can install box 86 so choose three you can also update box 64 with the script but it is also updated via the app sources, because it is in the sources now. And that is a great thing. Just for Box86 it is not doable, because it uses mixed architectures. And that creates problems for a lot of people. So now install Box86. You do need Box86 to run Wine. So the compilation of Box86 will take a while. Take a coffee. Watch a YouTube video, do whatever, just let it do. When that is done, we can install our Wine version. So first off, I am going to install Wine 6. So that is a 64-bit Wine version. For this nothing else needs to be done. It should work when it is finished. So now let's test it. So to test it, we type Wine wine cfg so wine config and if that works 
then it means that wine is working. And as you see over here, I can only choose between Windows XP and Windows 10. So here you can see if you are using the x86 version or the 64-bit version. Now to see if the graphics drivers work, I will use a Windows game. So here Carmageddon 2. So to run this, I just type wine and then karma2.exe and I run it. And this also works. But older games will not work with this version of wine. This can only emulate from Windows XP and Windows 10. So with the other wine version you can emulate from Windows 95 to Windows 7. So for that we need the Wine x86. So now as last let's install Wine x86. So first we need to remove our Wine directory. So the Wine directory is in our user folder. So here just remove the Wine directory. Then we go to Armbin Gaming and here we do install Wine x86. So it will remove all the files for the 64 bit Wine. And it will copy all the files for the x86 bit wine. But now you have to download the wine version yourself. You can download whatever version you want. Some versions work better than others. But here it is this version that I'm downloading. And so I have to extract it. And copy the contents of the user folder into my wine folder in my user folder. That sounds complicated. But it isn't. So now we should have x86 wine working. So now let's test that. So we again type wine, wine config. And if that works, then it is good. Now as a last test, let's try Viper Racing. So that doesn't work with the 64 bit wine. It only works with the x86 version of Vine. And as you see, Viper Racing also runs. And it runs pretty well. So if you want it to be full screen, then you have to set your display resolution to the same display resolution as the game. And then it will be in full screen. I cannot do that here because I am using a capture device and my capture device can't handle those display resolutions. So that will be it for today. So in this video we've seen how to install Box86 and how to install Wine 64 bits or the x86 bits version. To update Box86 we just again run it the same as we did. So if there are any questions, leave them here below. Again, thank you to Petitsap for all the great work you are doing. It is awesome. So now I can play some games. I might make a video about the games that I'm playing on the old rate N2 Plus if you want. So thank you all for watching. See you all later. Bye.